So let's get back to our shader and apply the equation that we just understood. So what we are going to use is lerp function. The first parameter will be o dot surface color dot RGB because this is the color that we have calculated so far, which is the color before reflection. And then the second parameter will be color before reflection multiplied by reflection color. And the third value based on which this interpolation will happen is the Fresnel value. And we will store this resultant color inside o.surface.color. And this surface color will be passed to the fragment shader. And before we make the changes in the fragment shader, let's save it and see if we have any compilation error or not. So let's save it and go back to Unity. And what we will do is we will select the materials and apply the newly created shader, which is the Fresnel. And we have gotten an error, which is a refractive index. And this is the error that we have to fix in our previous shader that we fixed in our current shader. So let's fix that too. So what we fixed here is refraction and refract. Save it, go back to Unity. So that has fixed the error. And now in our materials that we have selected, we will add IBL mode to Fresnel so that we can make sure that this block of code is executed and we can check if we have any compilation error or not. So, so far the shader looks good. So, we will go back to our shader. Now comes the turn of fragment shader. In the fragment shader, we have calculated reflection and refraction in two places when the fragment lighting is on or the lighting is completely turned off. So we will do the same for Fresnel and in order to do the calculation, we will just copy this code and paste it here first. The first change that we will make is instead of o.normal world, we will use world normal at pixel which we calculate either based on the normal map or the interpolated value and the second step is instead of o dot surface color we will lerp between the final color dot rgb and final color dot rgb multiplied by reflection color and we will store that inside final color dot rgb so these are the two changes that we have to make in our fragment shader so first we have calculated the reflection vector based on that reflection vector we have calculated reflection color and based on the fresnel equation we are applying that reflected color onto the surface now we will take the same exact code and paste it in our third condition when the lighting is completely turned off. We will save this shader. We will go back to our Unity scene. So we have an error now, which is in line 232 saying O undeclared identifier. And this is a usual mistake that we make. And instead of O dot normal world, we will use world normal at pixel. We will do the same thing in another block of code. Let's save it and go back to Unity. So that has fixed the error. And now we will do is we will go back to our shader selection. We will turn off the lighting so that we can see the effect of Fresnel. And as soon as we turned off the lighting, another block of code got executed. And we got another error, which is in line 253 saying undeclared variable world space view direction. 
in line 253, we don't have the world space view direction available yet because in the reflection code, we are calculating it, which we haven't calculated yet. So we will copy this line and paste it here. Now 